Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the best place for avant-garde makeup and high-end retouching. Anyways, today's gonna be a super casual video because I'm gonna be getting ready to go out to dinner. I'm having hot pot. And I also wanted to use this opportunity to talk to you about different ways that you can glue rhinestones on your face. So I am starting off with putting my foundation on, by the way, using um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is totally my go-to. On the topic of how to glue rhinestones on your face, the first thing you can use is eyelash glue. And that is the first thing I use to glue anything on my face. I got my gems and rhinestones off of Amazon or any fabrics and craft stores for the smaller rhinestones, which is what people usually like to use, like me. You want to get stuff that's actually made for nail art. They're the perfect size. They're flat bottom so that you can actually stick them onto your face, no problem. Many people will like to put it directly on their gems, but I would rather put it on my skin because then I can actually feel when it gets tacky and also I don't have to hold it in my hand the whole time. It also allows me to cover a wider surface area by putting it on my face first and then putting on multiple gems consecutively. Efficiency is key. Another way that you can stab the glue on your face is using the back of a, a brush. Like if you have a brush about this size, the back is a perfect opportunity for you to just bleh. For concealer, I am using NYX Professional Makeup's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Con Contour Concealer in the shade of Natural. Hot Pot is waiting! I will do my eyebrows. So usually my go-to is using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. And I just use this shade of kind of like ash brown. Back to business. The wax pencil and tweezers. These are really, really helpful in picking up the little rhinestones. I usually use the tweezers to pick up the small gem and then have it on the top that doesn't have glue so I can use this wax pencil, go in on it, stab the mother and then put it on my face. And there's my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna contour my face. All right, for my bronzer, my bronzer, bronzer, I wanna look like I just got tanned. So I'm gonna take the NYX Professional Makeup California Beaming in the color of Sunset Vibes. A lot of people would probably ask me, what type of glue would I use for bigger objects? I have used Spirit Gum, and my favorite one is from Ben Eye Makeup. And Spirit Gum is really, really good for oddly shaped objects or just bigger ones. You also have to put it on your face and wait for it to get tacky, and you have to use um, a Spirit Gum remover afterwards but I would only recommend using that for anything bigger than a gemstone because it's really hard to get off. It's commonly used in stage makeup. It's good for prosthetics. There's also a separate prosthetic adhesive that you can get for prosthetics. I barely use that one because I find spirit gum and eyelash glue to be sufficient for the number of things that I glue on my face, but that could come in handy probably if you wanted to put like a bald cap on. Glue whatever you want, but just be really careful because your skin is very delicate and make sure you do the proper skincare afterwards. If you're interested in learning about my skincare routine, make sure you click that notification button because in my next video, I'll be chatting with you guys about how I clean my face afterwards. So stay tuned for that one. I'm going to contour my nose, my nose, oh, what are we talking about? My nose really lightly with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, light to medium, and I've been using this for forever. So I'm just taking this like medium brown shade and then I'm going to just go in and contour my nose going in from one side and then blending it inwards towards my nostrils. I want to accent my nose. The other thing I use is cake molds that are really, really small. Usually you would put like frosting in there or something. I use them with glue gun and you have to be careful when you buy these because some of them are not going to respond well to a silicon under heat. But essentially those silicon molds are really, really good to put resin or like air dry clay to create complex shapes. Like I used like filigree on my Victorian look, which you can see right here. If you guys are interested in more of what you could glue on your face, which is like a random thing to ask for, then make sure you leave a comment below and also like this video. This is another beat up thing that I use and I love using it so much. It's the NYX Professional Makeup HD Finishing Powder. And I just wanna bake my face with the powder. Hot pot, I'm coming for you. Okay, I'm gonna use the NYX Professional Makeup Mystic Petals palette. 
I'm gonna go in with the- Whoa! That's very pigmented! Whoa, shit, that's awesome. By the way, I just used this color. Don't know what it's called. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna dab the middle. I'm getting so hungry! I'm gonna put on some lipstick. The NYX Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipstick and this is the color Corset. And finally, I want to highlight the crap out of my face. Flat brush! Flat brush, where are you? Flat brush. Where's my flat brush? I love this one. Look, it's shiny. I'm using the Born to Glow. It's called the Chosen One. But basically, it's gold. And then rub -a dub dub And then rub -a dub dub The goal is for the moon to see you and appreciate you. Okay, the look is finally complete. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can see more. As usual, stay creative, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Let's bring the exposure down, baby, so you can see my highlights.